The threat of devastation from Isaac has come and gone, leaving emergency management officials breathing easier today. But as SNN local news reporter Tom Lloyd explains, that doesn't mean they weren't ready if Isaac came knocking here on the Sun Coast. He filed this report from Charlotte County. Lena, emergency management officials here in Charlotte County say that they were well prepared for this storm. Early Monday morning, Director of Charlotte County Emergency Management, Wayne Saladay, spoke with county and city leaders about Tropical Storm Isaac. Isaac's track shifted to the west, bringing little trouble to Charlotte County. Isaac's quite a ways off of Charlotte County. Um, he's about 200 and so miles out to the west-southwest. Uh, tracking off in the direction, unfortunately, of New Orleans. In the last 24 hours, Charlotte County saw only two and a half inches of rain, a far cry from one month ago. This area in Punta Gorda at the Harbor Walk had nearly eight inches of water from Tropical Storm Debbie. Here with Isaac, the city has seen no flooding whatsoever. Tropical Storm Debbie came through Charlotte County, dumping more rain and causing the city streets to flood. If you look across the uh in front of the sidewalks across the street was actually high and dry at about 9 o'clock and uh, so water's probably come up six or eight inches since 9 o'clock today. As Isaac moves slowly towards the north, Saladay says it looks like its eyes are set on New Orleans and could make it there just in time for an anniversary. If he arrives on schedule, uh, he'll get there on the seventh anniversary of Katrina. And Charlotte County Emergency Manager Director Wayne Saladay says that Isaac was a great tool to test the capabilities of the EOC. Reporting in Punta Gorda, Tom Lloyd, SNN Local News.